Assalamu alaikum. Did you know that it is very sinful to issue a divorce by saying talaq, talaq, talaq thrice? It is very sinful. It's the wrong way of doing things. It's not what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has taught us. I want to explain to you how beautiful Islam is. If you're married and you're having problems and you really cannot solve the problems, Islam tells you to try and involve the elders from both sides to see if a solution can be found. And Allah says in the Quran, if both parties would like to solve the problem, then Allah will grant them that. Allah will grant them acceptance to be able to find a solution. So if it's not a blame game and if you're not trying to prove who was right and wrong and both of the parties are genuinely looking to solve the matter, Allah says, we'll help you both. But in the rare case where subhanallah, the parties cannot get along, they really want to separate part ways, it is part of the mercy of Allah that we can divorce. Imagine if divorce was not prescribed in Islam. That's it, you were doomed with a person you didn't want to be with. I mean, part of the mercy of Allah is to allow you and I to go through divorce if needed and necessary because we just can't get along. So Allah says, you know what? You issue one out of three talaqs. That's it. You never ever give more than one. It's just one. And what do I do? Allah says, well, when you've issued the one, we allow you a separation period of three menstrual cycles. You separate and during that time, that one revocable talaq or divorce would actually be held in a way that Allah is giving you a chance to reconcile within the three menstrual cycles. If, for example, you feel, no, we need to get back, we need to try and so on, uh, you're allowed to get back within that time. No strings attached, no nothing. You can, you can solve the matter and come back. And then at some point later in the future, if you still didn't get along and you want to go back to uh, your own ways and separate, Allah says, we'll allow you to do it a second time. So I got back and after a few months or years, I decided now nah, we still cannot get along. So Allah says, no problem. You can give the second talaq too. So the second one comes only after you've tried, only after you've gotten back after the first one and reconciled. And then you didn't get along. And then the second one comes in play. Look at how merciful Allah is. Allah says, we'll give you another three menstrual cycles to consider. If you get back, alhamdulillah, it's a good thing. But the third time this happens, then you need to marry someone else. What's the reason? Allah says, if it's the third time, then we now don't want you to keep doing the same thing and getting back and going back and getting back and reconciling and splitting and reconciling and splitting. You only allowed to do that twice. The third time you must go your own ways and you must get married to someone else. When the wife marries someone else and she realizes perhaps this guy is such a brilliant guy. Alhamdulillah, she's happy in the new marriage. So be it. We're happy too. But if she's not, and she gets a divorce from that guy without the interference of the first husband. In that case, Allah says, now, because we know you've seen a scenario worse than what you were in in the first place, we will give you the chance to go back to the first husband and you can start afresh. So you get a new nikah done, a new officiation of a marriage and you're all set to go. And now you'll appreciate, you know, this husband originally, the first one, he had 10 things wrong with him. But the second one had 20 things wrong with him or 10 things, but they were worse. I'd rather go back to the first guy. So it makes sense. So you don't just use up all your lives. You never just issue three talaqs all at once. You don't do that. It's sinful. There is a way of doing things in Islam. You must be respectful and don't just issue it in anger. Don't just issue it at any time. It's a major thing. Think about it. Subhanallah. Now, say for example, one talaq was given. We did not reconcile. We went our own ways. What do I do? Well, I'm allowed to, as a woman, a woman is allowed to marry anyone she wants after that. 
even though there was just one talaq, the fact that the, the waiting period or the three menstrual cycles are over, or if it was an irrevocable talaq, once that waiting period of three menstrual cycles is over, she can marry anyone she wants, including the original first husband, because there was no second or third talaq. So you never ever need a second or a third. If you have one and it was irrevocable or the idda, the waiting period finished, it's over. It's over. You don't ever need a second or a third. That's it. It's done. Because you can marry whoever you want if you wish, and you're no longer the wife of that first person. But you can go back to him if you want because there was only one talaq. So do you see why we should never be issuing two or three? We should never just be giving three all at once. The second one is a gift. It's only when you've reconciled and you cannot uh, make the marriage work for the second time, then you give the second one. And if you came back after the second one, whether it was... Uh, uh, you know, after the waiting period, you had your new reconciliation or nikah done. Or it was within that waiting period, you just got back together because it was revocable. Either way, the second time, you try and make it work. If it didn't work a second time, like I said, that's when you issue the third one. So I hope I've educated you guys uh, regarding this. It's a very beautiful way of divorce, to be honest. It's the best teachings on earth regarding divorce. It gives you three different chances. Don't blow those chances all at once. So remember, it is wrong to issue three talaqs at once. You never need to do that. In fact, it is sinful. You only ever give one talaq, one divorce, not three. And I just want to make mention before I end, my beloved sisters, if you're in a marriage where your husband is not fulfilling your rights, he's oppressing you or he has abused you and you really want to get out of that marriage and, uh, you know, don't think that he is the only guy who can issue the divorce. No, you can actually apply for a nullification to an Islamic court or to a panel of scholars, the mufti, etc., they will study the matter. They will see if, you know, it is to be awarded. If really there's something wrong, they will try to look into the matter and uh, they will award you what is known as a nullification or a fasq of that particular marriage. So you're no longer the wife. Whether the man wanted it or not is irrelevant because if he didn't fulfill your rights, he didn't give you a mahar, he doesn't, he's not intimate or he really abuses you or something serious has gone wrong, then you are allowed to get that. So you can apply for a nullification. That's not called a khula. It's called a nullification or a fasq. And what is a khula? A khula is when you don't really have a reason to, to get away, but you, you don't want to be in the marriage, right, uh, as a woman. And you just want to get out of it. He hasn't really done anything badly wrong to you. You want to get out of it. And you, you can actually give back your mahr. The mahr meaning the amount he paid as a gift initially for you when you got married. You can give that back uh, if he agrees to take it back in return. In return for issuing a talaq. So that is a khula. For a khula, you will still need your husband's approval. But for a nullification, you don't need his approval. I hope I've educated you on that too. Perhaps if you would like me to talk about that in detail, I have in the past, then you can leave a comment below and inshallah we'll take a look at this. It's very, very interesting and I think we needed to know about this. Uh, in the meantime, I pray that Allah protect all of us. Those who are not married, may Allah grant you spouses who will be the coolness of your eyes. Those who are married, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you happiness. Those who do have turbulence in their marriages, may the Almighty make it easy for you to resolve your matters. May Allah bless us all with children who will be the coolness of our eyes. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Thank you so much for listening to this short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope and the same applies to all of us jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh